Hi, I'm Nick Orr, Applications Training Specialist here at Chromaline. I'd like to show you how to do an exposure test known as a step test. What you have to have is a positive that has a lot of detail in it, and obviously your coated screen. And you have to have something opaque, like a piece of opaque cardboard or plastic, something opaque. And the whole idea is this is going to act as a light barrier during your exposure. So what I'm going to do, a couple pieces of tape, and I'm going to tape this positive so it's not going to move on me. Just like that. Now I am ready to expose this. And I'm going to expose it using this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's known as a stepping. I'm going to expose one quarter of it at it. Uh, equal increments and I'm going to pick just for just for kicks 30 second units so this is going to be a 30 second exposure after I'm done with that exposure I'm going to move it down halfway do another 30 seconds after that move it down do another 30 seconds and then take it off and do another 30 second exposure what that's going to give me is a 30 second exposure a 60 a 90 and 120 I've done steps this is basically doing the same thing as an exposure calculator, but it takes a lot longer to do. So if you don't have a calculator, you can do it this way. Let's go into the exposure area and expose this screen. All right, here we go. Got the screen, it's taped on, but don't forget, you gotta put this piece of cardboard on, this opaque piece of cardboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up, again, a quarter of it, Just like that. Now remember, this is opaque. You don't want light through. And I'm going to expose this 30 seconds. So I'll set it at 30 seconds and do my exposure. Okay, that's the first increment. Do you want to move that? Now it's a good idea, by the way, have a pen on hand. The reason you want that pen is to mark where you have these. Oops. No biggie. Take this film. I'm going to move it down about halfway now. Again, I'm going to expose at 30 units or 30 seconds. <laughs> Halfway through. Again, make sure your positive doesn't move. That's why I taped it down so good. Again, 30 second increments. Now they don't have to be 30 second increments. They could be one minute, two minutes, whatever. But it's important you keep them all the same. Because if you don't, you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to figure out what the proper exposure was. Okay. <whistles> Almost done. I'm all done with this. Put that aside. Now I'll expose, again, 30 seconds. All right, it is now exposed. So you take this positive off. And you wash this out in a washout area. And you check the areas to see which look the best. Let's hit it with some water. I'm not sure if you can see this, but you can actually see 
uh, definite lines. Those are breakpoints as to where the exposure took place. This was my first exposure at 30 seconds. Another 30, another 30, and another 30. All right, can you see anything here? Look at this. That's supposed to be a tire. It's all washed away. As a matter of fact, look at that. Underexposed. Whereas here, you can actually see the tire. So this at 30 seconds or 30 units that I used, definitely underexposed. The longer I expose, the harder the stencil gets and the better it looks. Therefore, 30 seconds for this particular stencil on this mesh is too short but it gets better as you go longer. Now what you would have to do, you should dry this screen and really look at it with a loop to make sure that it's what you want. But definitely, 30 is too short. This step exposure has shown you by having four exposures on one screen where to go. It may seem like it took a long time, but the fact is you made four, four exposures on one screen. You saved screens, you saved mesh, you saved emulsion and you've also saved time. So yeah, it may take a little bit longer, but in the long run, you're saving time and you're getting your correct exposure. That's how it works. But let's say none of this looked good. Say the whole thing washed away. What's that say? It means you way underestimated your guess. You have to go more, maybe twice as long. Something, you've got to guess. But say the whole thing is overexposed. You went way overboard, shorten your exposure time. But the important thing is make sure you stay in equal increments. If it's 15 units or 15 seconds, 15, 15, 15, and so forth, or 30, 30, 30, 30. I can't stress that enough. You've got to make sure it's the same. And by the way, make sure you mark your screen so you know what's what. That's a step exposure. That's how you do it. Thank you.